Welcome back to Behind the Box. Today we're going to be taking a look at a preview copy of a game currently on Kickstarter called Squirrel. So we were sent this by the designer Tom Suttle. Sorry if we're not pronouncing <laughs> your surname correctly there Tom. Uh, as I mentioned it is a uh, preview copy so what we show you may change but I think this is pretty close to the finished product. So Squirrel is a game about foraging for acorns on a forest floor before the leaves turn brown. Two players take turns moving their squirrel, hoping to uncover acorns under the leaves around them. If a player has more than three cards in their hands, or leaves an empty space on the forest, then they must discard one of their cards face up, showing the brown side. Once all the visible cards are brown, the players count up their acorns and the player with the most wins. Now, Squirrel's a really charming game. It's been very thoughtfully produced. The cards have all been hand printed. The uh, little squirrel meeples are so cute and adorable. It's just a lot of fun to use. <laughs> it is really simple. It's a very simple game. It's very quick to learn. It's very quick to play. It takes about five minutes yeah. to do a whole game, so you can play a couple of them in a row. There's a little bit of strategy and a little bit of decision making about where you move and what you place mm -hmm. that I think is actually really good for kids. Yeah, when I think about the games that I played growing up as a kid, things like Candyland and Shoots and Ladders, the luck in those games can be really cruel mm -hmm. because you lose all that progress that you made through no fault of your own. Now, the Squirrel does have quite a bit of luck yeah. in it, but the nice thing about it is if you're a parent playing with a child, you can lay down cards that are going to be helpful to the child. So you'll lay down an acorn and then the kid can choose to either stand or land on that acorn, which means that they can take a card out of your hand or they can pick up that acorn for themselves and that can be points for them later. So it's a way of still keeping it fun, even if maybe the luck isn't going the way. <laughs> yeah, so it's not something that we're gonna play with our friends, but we're definitely gonna take it to see it when we go see our nephews, because yeah. we think they're gonna love this. The young, gonna be really impressed by it, I think. So if you wanna know more about the game, I'll leave a link down below to the Kickstarter page so you can check it out, as well as our social media as usual. But until the next one, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Welcome, Welcome back. back to Behind the... No. Nine minutes, and we've not even All right. tried one. We would, well, I have, but somebody interrupted me. I'm subtle. Sorry if you're not pronouncing it. If you're not. <laughs> you probably pronounce your surname fine. Right, okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Behind the Box. Hey, I wasn't ready yet. Said, mm -hmm. 